I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with Justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinter Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate Justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. Surely that's worth any risk it entails. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some... outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and... boom. Justice and I are free. And we can take our rightful place among free mages. What is Drakestone? The Tevinters used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. I assure you, we'll find them. I could not have begun to do this without your support. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar Petre. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Watch where you step. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. See if we can find a few more deposits. Ah! <laughs> 
Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. That should be plenty. Thank the Maker. Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drakestone deposits along the sides. This looks like a Drakestone deposit. I need a scraping from the deepest part. There should be more further in. Watch your step. There should be more further in. Now that's just That should be enough.
Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately. There is one more thing I need of you, my love, and I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. I won't desert you now. I do not deserve your love. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. Maker's Blessing, Champion. Have you come to pray? Have you thought about which side you'll take? Between the Mages and Templars? It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, Champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. Couldn't you solve this problem if you just spoke out? How would that help? Both sides make good points. Both have flaws. For a thousand years, the Chantry has had to find the balance between them. That hasn't changed here. The Maker created mages. Why doesn't he protect them? I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. I wanted you to have this. What's that? A pillow? Hand embroidered by my mother. The only thing of hers they let me keep when I went to the Circle. Why in the name of Andraste would you give that to me? You've been a good friend, Varric. Uh-uh. You keep your pillow, Blondie. And may you have many more dreams of killing Templars on it. Hawk. I didn't expect you here. I want to tell you now. I love you. You've stood by me when I gave you every reason to turn away. Just remember, whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Why are you talking like this? He'll still be here, you know. Justice. Long after you and I are gone. It doesn't mean the same thing to a spirit. He'll just go back to the Fade. I love you, Anders. You were the most important thing in my life. But some things matter more than my life. More than either of us. I'm sorry. You're wrong. There is nothing more important than love. I told you I would break your heart. Just know it breaks mine to do it. I was hoping we'd find a better way, but... Justice and vengeance are too intertwined. I can't tell one from the other. You were the one shining light in my life. Never blame yourself for what will happen. 